all our new Panthers. I'm Mrs. Jan Scherer. And I'm Mr. Sloan. Welcome to Bellevue Middle School. Today we are going to introduce you to Microsoft Teams. That's right. We'll show you how to log in and also how to join a class in Microsoft Teams. Marion County Public Schools is a dedicated Microsoft district, and all teachers at Bellevue Middle School are using the same platform, Microsoft Teams. It's easy to use and quite safe and secure. Let's watch a video that gives parents and students an overview of Microsoft Teams. Whether you're studying at home or on the go, Microsoft Teams for Education allows you to quickly connect with your classes, teachers, and friends using tools like video chat, audio calls, and chatting from your mobile or desktop. Let's take a look. Start by opening the Teams app. To start a conversation with the entire class, select a team and a channel. Enter your message and send it. To send a private message to a single person or small group, select New Chat. Search for the name of the person or group. Select them, enter your message, and send. When you receive a message, it arrives organized by date, and if it's important, you can pin it to the top of your chat list. To view a chat, select it. To reply, enter your message, then select Send. If you want to get someone's attention in a channel post, at mention them and choose them. When you're done with your message, select Send. To get the attention of the whole class, use at and the name of your class. Choose your class, write your message, and send it. To connect on video or audio, select Chat. Search for the person you want to talk to. Select them. Then choose the video icon for a video chat or the call icon for a phone call. If your school has enabled it, you can also connect on the Calls tab from the Make a Call or Speed Dial sections. The Calls tab also allows you to view your call history as well as your voicemail. Don't forget to express yourself by adding emoji GIFs, memes, or stickers. And if someone calls you, answer it. With Microsoft Teams, you don't have to wait to ask questions, share, or just say hi. To study up on all things Microsoft Teams for education, check out support.office.com education. I bet after watching that video, you're pretty excited to get started, but you might also have some questions. Don't worry. We will walk you through how students will be accessing your classes. Let's go. First, you go to marionschools.net. From there, students will locate the MCPS desktop icon in the top right. Once here, students will type in their username and password combination. From here, you will click on the Office 365 tile. It might not be in exactly this spot on your screen, but you will see that it reads Office 365. And from here, it's a short click to Microsoft Teams. Please note that this is the same location students log into their email. You'll just want to click on the Teams icon instead. You will have several tiles on the opening screen. Each tile represents one of your classes. Find the class you are looking for and click that tile. From there, you'll be able to communicate with your teachers in the Canvas area of your class team to the right. And to the left, you'll find channels, which teachers set up for different topics in each class. That's right. Each teacher will interact with you in a way that works best for them, 
but they will all be using Microsoft Teams, even for having live video lessons. Instead of Zoom, teachers will be able to have video conferencing right from the Microsoft Teams app, which is a convenient change from having to Zoom. Joining a video meeting is as easy as clicking the Join Meeting button in Microsoft Teams. Students will learn more about this feature as the school year begins. Let's talk about viewing your assignments in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams allows students to easily view assignments and due dates by class, for every class, all in one location. Students will receive a notification that an assignment has been assigned, graded, or even if feedback was given and additional work is needed, all from the Assignments tab in each class. With Microsoft Teams, students will now have one location to quickly view what assignments are due and when. Speaking of notifications, students will receive notifications in a dedicated activity feed where they will receive alerts whenever key activity takes place in their class, such as when a new assignment is given, or graded, or when a student is mentioned in a post. There's also a chat feature where students will stay in contact with their teacher. Teachers will often use the chat to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with students and to answer questions about assignments and lessons. And teachers may occasionally start a chat with small groups or the class as a whole. And one final note for parents, there's no separate student login to view their child's classes in Microsoft Teams. So in addition to parents checking Skyward on a regular basis, regularly checking their Microsoft Teams platform via their student's login is one way for parents to ensure their child is fully completing classwork and assignments in a timely manner. If you have any questions about Microsoft Teams, remember, there will be more resources available online as the school year approaches and begins. Also, the teachers will be happy to answer questions once the school is in session. That's right. We'll see you soon and go, go Panthers. Panthers.